All right, well, welcome to Generalization Gamers. We got me, Skull, here, and Master Jude Dave. Today, right we're, <laughs> we're just going to be bringing you some uh, gameplay and talking about uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2's new Nuketown map, Nuketown 2025. We'll just show you some stuff about it, show you some gameplay, and talk a little bit about the, uh, the classes that you can design. start off, man? Um, I don't know. Well, one thing about the Nuketown 2025 uh, that I was sort of disappointed with was that they kept everything basically almost exactly the same. Like, they kept the entire design the same. Like, I know it's supposed to be Nuketown, but, I mean, there's, like, no true difference. I know it looks a total difference, but, I mean, just the whole layout and design of it, there's still the two houses... The people, the the two trucks in the center of the map, like everything's in the exact same spot. It's just a little bit changed up. Now that was one thing I was a bit disappointed about. There was no real entry difference. Yeah, one thing I do like when you're in like an online match is this. See, like population two. That's me and you. Yeah, that changes, and I like how they made it moving as well. But. Yeah. Uh, well, like they did. New people and stuff. <laughs> they did change everything up. Um, I do like that new, whole Nuketown sign that they had made. Yeah. Discover the city of the future. That was cool, as well as a pressure gauge for when the nuke was to go off. Um, I wish I wish they would have changed it up so that you could explore farther out. And even in the zombies, uh, you can't. I know people have done videos, and we'll be coming out with a video for uh, that in December when it actually gets released. Um, but I wish you could have gone farther out. I think Nuketown was a good map. They just didn't change it up. Like, I was more ex of expecting Nuketown 2025 to be completely futuristic, like the map being done over. Like, still the same small size, but, like, everything look looking different. It's sort of just the same with a different design and twist to it. Uh, I love, like, I mean, like, there's nothing that I don't like. Like, I like the whole layout and, like, the new buildings and stuff, especially the backgrounds. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, they, they like really that. did an awesome job on the backgrounds. They actually gave it a futuristic look, like a whole city yeah, like, in the back. Like, they actually have, like, the House of the Future and stuff, like, hydroponic gardens back here, greenhouses. Oh, yeah. This is not real... Apparent, apparently, it's one of the signs I read, this is not real grass. Yeah, there's a ton of signs around here, I think. Oh, I'll, I'll put a little uh, mark in the top of the corner of the video when I'm editing it. I'll, we'll just count how many signs there are. Oh, that's one. And there's two. But, um, no, there's three. Come here, boy. <laughs> but they do. They talk about hey. a ton of stuff. That I... Oh, uh, three Claymore. Um, they gave the design, actually... They did. They did it extremely well, though, for keeping it the same. Although, although I was a little disappointed that they didn't change it up, they still kept. Uh, they, they made the design absolutely amazing. Uh, it, they gave a lot of attention to detail uh, with trying to be futuristic and stuff. I did. I really did like that. Living in our. Oh, I didn't see what? that. So. One really cool thing that I like about this is that, I, I don't know, but I like the mailboxes out here. Come here, look at the theme. Mm. Out front here. Get over here now! <laughs> oh, man. Read the mailbox. Woods. And it says over here... Mason, aha! Uh -huh. Best they made in the. <laughs> That's cool. But no, they did give a ton of. I mean, look at that. They just put a million stuff within just one area. Like they did. <laughs> they did a really good job at all of that. Look at that. They even put aliens. Tons of. Even know what that is. Firing off randomly. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, there's doubles. Of, I don't even know what that. What the. But yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about the classes. 
All right, the classes, uh, actually during uh, and on uh, multiplay, uh, multiplayer, which, uh, uh, the point system. Yeah, I did like uh, I did like the classes. I did not like the unlock tokens uh, in the bottom corner. I really did not like that. They still just have like the regular um, unlock system for that. Yeah, I know. That's what I re I really wanted that. I, di I didn't like how they did that at all. I hated how you have, how you have to unlock perks. Oh yeah, you got a freaking unlock. I don't even know how you unlock perks. You go you unlock a perk by a level? Are you kidding me? You should unlock a perk by doing what you need to get the perk, not. But then, well, first you have to unlock it, and then you have to pay an unlock token to get it. Like, what the frick? I know. Like, why would I spend all that time to level up to get the perk to not get the perk because I might not have enough level tokens, or I might want to get something else? They did not think very well for that. Exactly. I mean, they should really fix that. Yeah, they really had to fix that. They, that was one thing I did not like about Black Ops. You get, you get like one token, and then that one token can only buy one gun or one perk or one, one anything. And I thought that was really stupid how they got rid of the actual like COD points, or you could get a bunch per round to update and actually buy stuff. Uh, so you could actually level up your guns and uh, make your attachments and do everything else a lot faster. I think that point system was absolutely stupid. Like, you get one per level up of anything. Like, that was... But, uh, I didn't like how they changed the names up of a lot of the... The old stuff. Like, the ballist... Like, the, uh... The Tomahawk is now the Combat Axe or something. Like, they gave it a really stupid name. Uh, but I hated that about the classes. I, about the, uh, the tokens thing. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I hated that about the tokens. I also, I also dislike. I did like. I did, it, it was more of like a half and half. How the perks themselves, uh, that like you can have, uh, ten of them, I believe. That's what I I, I should rephrase that. Um, that that you could choose more. Like you could have two claymores and a tomahawk. Your normal perks. Your guns, your attachment. I sort of like how you. I sort of like how they did that. What I did not like about it was the that you could only have ten of them. That I found absolutely stupid. That was absolutely limiting to everything everyone was actually trying to do. So you couldn't have two attachments on your gun, uh, and two uh, like you can't have two attachments on your gun, and then you can't have like two C4s to blow up, like, I, I absolutely, I hated that, like, you could only have a certain amount of something, and then the special perks, uh, I liked sort of them that you could have two normal perks, but then again, it just took away from anything else you were trying to do with your guns, or your uh, attachments, or specials, and I just, I, I thought that was a stupid idea how they, why they did that, <laughs> but, um, I, I, yeah, I did not like that at all. Did you, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that complete bull. No, uh, okay, but I'm at the classes as well. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant, uh, I meant about the classes. Oh, yeah. I, I don't really like that. Hey, dude, you want to play shuffleboard? Yeah, I did like how they put shuffleboard in the background. That was really cool. You can actually move the tiles. Oh, yeah. Come here. You can. The only thing is, it only appears on one person's screen. So, see if I knife this one. I got it. It moves across the board, but it doesn't move for Jude. It doesn't move for Dave. It only it stays in the exact same place as him. If they had made it so that both of you could see it, that would actually have been really cool. So overall, I think Call of Duty did actually a pretty good <coughs> job on Nuketown. They made it a really cool look and design they gave everything new i love the atom and the, i love all the flags and they did a really good job on design uh i dislike what they did about uh just keeping it exactly the same like i know they did other special stuff with inside there but i mean it, it, like they still kept it the, they, they kept the layout i should say they kept the layout exactly the same i didn't like that with the classes they did an okay job they made it almost impossible to prestige 
in guns and weapons and just leveling up anything. They made it impossible for you to have extremely good classes, but I guess that's good anyway. But, yeah, you know, oh well. What are you there do? is one bug they do need to fix. I was uh, playing one? several times today on this map. Yeah. And I was dropping care packages back here on the shuffleboard. Yeah. And they would they would bounce like a bouncy ball all the way past the fence and all the way out there. I was like, oh my god, what the hell? Yeah. And Call of Duty did not fix the spawn issue. That was that was absolutely mm -hmm. stupid. They did not they did not really fix that or obtain to that whatsoever. Enemies can still spawn camp you instead of they did it a little bit better, but still for small maps and other random maps they 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 did not fix that at all. What do you like? Do you like Black Ops Two better? Or do you like Black Ops One better? Yeah, and what do you think of Nuketown? How do you like the classes? How do you like everything all about it? Leave what you think and put your comments and everything in the Make sure to subscribe to us, follow us on uh, Twitter, like us on Facebook, circle us on Google+, uh, follow us on Tumblr, uh, visit and our... Make sure to tell us that Ian is a noob for using a riot shield. <laughs> visit our website at uh, generalizationgamers.wix.com slash generalizationgamers. Go on, uh, get our latest news, our reviews, updates, anything. Uh, leave us comments or whatever you want, and we'll uh, <laughs> email us and we'll check it out. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys later.